Okay. Be now, before you start disassembling any gearbox for any machine, what you need to do is do marking so that you know the part where they join. So, now next time when I do the assembly, I know that this will go like this. Okay, so I mark everywhere. Here also, here will also mark. Okay, and mark. Okay, come here. Mark. So these are three parts. One, two, three. So you mark so that you align them together. Okay. That's it. Remove the coupling. Okay. First. Yeah. You will disconnect the gearbox. Then first thing is remove the coupling. Okay. So how you remove the coupling? You use coupling puller. Okay. So now, right now, he will remove coupling puller and don't forget to use spacer. Shaft protector. Spacer or shaft protector, whatever you call it, but it's to protect the. Shaft. Okay. Now pause. Don't take everything because some mistake. The coupling puller has been attached. Now he will use the coupling puller and remove and support here. Okay. Support here. Okay. So that it doesn't fall down. Don't take everything because some mistake will also come inside. Okay. Now you, you see two covers, okay? This one, this flange is with the gear itself, okay? It will not come out. This one is the cover, so it will come out. So this one is greased nipple from where you do the greasing and you have to open the bolts in cross sequence, okay? In cross sequence. And the upper cover bolts also will come out. I will remove it. Remove this one. Now you will see shims. Shims or gaskets here. We have gaskets. But uh, usually you will have shims. They will adjust the space, the clearances. Okay? Now remove it. Covers. When covers have been removed. So you need to find the points with some better center of gravity okay so the cover center of gravity should maintain like for example if one eye bolt here the other will be here okay here you cannot connect eye bolts why why you cannot connect eye bolts because there is no threading right okay so, so now what's uh, left for us is now removing the upper uh, body or upper cover or upper casing whatever you call it so when you remove this one you will use eye bolts and you will try to balance it so that it goes straight without touching the shafts and you take care of this you see this outer base of the bearing here also yeah this will come out it will fall down so you need to be careful with outer racing okay now connect it opposite Okay. Now you connect the eye bolts. Now you bring the proper sling. And you make sure it's yeah. right. I shall not open the sling. So that this does not harm the shaft. Shaft should be protected all the time. Okay. And we take care of the. Come here. We, we take care of this outer race. Of this bearing. Okay. This will fall down when you remove the cover. This will stuck with the cover and it will fall down. So you need to take it in your hand so that it doesn't fall down in the gearbox. Okay. You, if you want to get the eye bolt from the store, how do you know that the size of this? Okay. Which eye bolt size you have to get it? You take vernier caliper and measure it. Whatever size it comes, you bring that size of threading. Okay. With the shackle. <laughs> Yalla, just a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. See. The eye bolt is connected with the shackle. So the, these are the tools we have. So we use it. Eye bolt with shackle and the rope sling. Then there will be shackle and the rope sling will go in the train hook. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Now, you, this is the crane hook, right? This crane hook should be in the center of gravity, in the same center of this cover, okay? So that the cover lifts like this. We don't lift like this or like this. It should lift like this. So you bring the crane in the center of the hook and you connect it. By your hands, what you will do? Make sure the shaft does, it doesn't touch the shaft. Okay, give signal for raising. What is this? This is the signal. Show the signal. How do you raise? Okay. Should not touch the shaft. Make sure. How is the Mayam Sikhal shaft? Okay, stop. Okay. Since we have rubber, we don't need wood. Okay. If we don't have rubber, it is a hard surface. To protect that one, we need wood. Okay. So now we have rubber, it will protect the casing. So you can keep it directly. Keep your fingers away from the case. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Your fingers should be on the top. Never keep like this. Okay? Should be like this. Okay? So, this is the bevel gearbox, right? So, you have this outer race. You remove this outer race. The other race came out with the casing. Outer race, so keep it. Then, we will use this in house eye bolt which we made to lift this shaft, okay? And another eye bolt here, another eye bolt here. Uh, so two eye eye bolts. Eye one in-house eye, eye bolt here, and the other one here, okay? Now, we have two bearings here, okay? So, what is this type of bearing? So, it depends on the type of roller it is having inside, okay? Usually, the name. So don't get confused, you think that these rollers are cylindrical, but they are not. They are tapered roller bearings, okay? This is tapered roller bearing. How you know it? You see the taper? You see the taper? Yeah? Okay? This size is bigger and this one is smaller and you have a taper. So this is tapered roller bearing. How many tons this one? Half ton. Okay. okay, now this one is uh, in house eye bolt. We made it. We can handle this capacity. So, this one we have another eye bolt here. And the bearing what we have here on this gear is a uh, tapered roller bearing, or you can also call it thrust bearings. Okay, both of them are tapered roller bearings and thrust bearing. Their outer casing has been removed and kept. Now, See, you're recording now? Yes. Okay. Now this one with the sling with another crane and this one also with the sling with another crane. So you, what you have to do, see, come here inside. You have how many gears? One, two. Okay. And this is the another one. One pinion is there. Okay. So this is this one. So three of these will come together at one time. Okay. So this will come out. This will come out and this will come out. They are interlocked. So you have to move them together to remove, okay? Without damaging, scratching, okay? Okay, okay. now you use this crowbar. This is crowbar, pry bar, okay? For moving things. So you insert this one and apply pressure, okay? Once you're done with this one, go opposite side and apply pressure. Okay, apply. Okay, then you come back again, apply pressure. Okay, or two two crowbars together and apply pressure. Okay. Stop. Now. Together lifting these two gears and also they are holding this one, okay? Make sure the gears don't touch together. They will scratch. Okay, stop, stop, stop. The driver, driver pinion, right? Driven pinion. No, no, cut it. Okay, we have this input shaft, then pinion of the driver. Stop. Intermediate gear, okay? Take from him. Intermediate gear, then driven gear then output shaft 
Jel Always use tagline, okay? Tagline, lifeline, what do you call? Tagline to guide the load, okay? When you are lifting. Okay. Prepare your uh, table so that you transfer the gear safely. So use the wood to support it if it is not straight. <coughs> French one, French one. Okay. This one will go, this bearing will go sit here. This is the outer race for this bearing. And this bearing, you see inside, can you see it? No. Yeah, this bearing inside. It will go sit in the, this outer race. The outer race is there in the. Okay. Position the gears in such a way that they are aligned. Okay. Now, how they will sit together? They, these teeth are going and contacting these teeth, so you should align it. Be careful with this one above. This one should not touch. Should be below, below this one. Okay. Then we'll bring the pinion. Once this bearing goes down, this slot we will bring the pinion and we'll attach the pinion here should go pinion should go here okay so we'll lower this bearing down then pinion will come from here okay slowly go down together both of them should coordinate both the crane and should coordinate and now when you see this bearing go down the slot now bring the pinion from here to attach here okay now you bring this pinion and adjust it and then you will lower down these gears Okay. Now adjust the pinion with the plastic hammer so that it adjusts the pinion. Okay. Make sure that the holes are aligned. Okay, see the holes for the bolt. This one and this hole. This holes. This hole and this hole should align. So check with the bolt. Are they aligned or not? If not aligned, you adjust the flange. Okay. Okay. You put the bolts and adjust the holes so okay now the bolt is going freely that means that our flange for the pinion is in correct position so now you can lower the gears lower them and hold on. now lower the gears now how to check them if you rotate they should rotate okay if you rotate freely okay that means our assembly is perfect okay they should rotate freely if there is no rotation or something, then something problem we made in while assembly. Okay. okay, now you bring the cover and one second, one second. What we are missing here, the grease nipple should come up. Okay, remove this, remove this. The grease nipple should come up for the cover. You are inside the shims, whatever shims you have, you insert them and the grease nipple should be up. Okay, this is up. This is the correct position. It will not come like this. This gearbox is designed like this. Grease nipple, little slanted with angle. It's not exactly vertical. It's like little angle. But here, not down. Okay. Should be here. Okay. Now what you do is lift the cover. Okay. Carefully. And you make sure whatever your rigging and hoisting is, the cover should be straight. Okay. And uh, this is the uh, guide, the hole for guide pins. The guide, the hole should go exactly on the guide pins, and this will sit properly. Put the cap. Pop it. Make sure we adjust the cap onto the markings exactly and the bolts will go inside. Adjust with the bolts. 
Now the other cap. You got it? And the markings. Okay, that's it. Now fix the bolts. Tight as per the recommended torque. That's it.